Hello and welcome to this tutorial. During the next minutes, we would like to explain the surface interface of the fork sensor WFS3 IO Link. We have connected the sensor via C-Link 2 master to our computer and started SOPAS. The device is automatically found and accessed by a double click. If the question occurs how you want to display the interface, please click Yes. Three tabs are displayed. Identification, Settings and Teach-in. Clicking on Identification, the general information about the sensor is shown. Double-click the application-specific name and enter a name of your choice. In this case, we choose Tutorial 1. The same applies for the product-specific name. Enter a name of your choice. The lower part of the menu shows information like version and I.O. link details. If you click on the button Find Device, the device itself will start blinking and you can easily retrieve the device inside your machine. The device settings allow, for example, the configuration of pin 2. You can either select it deactivated, so pin 2 is not active. You can select switching output, which means that only Q1 is physically available. But if Q2 is not only to be displayed in I.O. link communication, the separate switching output Q2 has to be selected. If an alert output on process quality is necessary, this function has to be selected. You see that at the left side, the Q description changes and Q2 can also be configured as an external input. If the pin 2 configuration values are changed, also the selectable process data value changes. If, for example, switching output is selected, four different I.O. link data values can be selected. First of all, this is Q1 and Q2, so information about both switching outputs are transferred. The second choice is Q1 and process quality alarm. The value for the process quality alert can be adjusted by the slide bar at the lower end of the display. In addition to Q1 and Q2, the measurement values can be displayed and transferred. The graph shows the actual receiver values as well as the set thresholds for Q1 and Q2. The fourth option includes the measurement values with the switching output Q1 and the process quality alert. Depending on the application, one of the options is selected. The next menu offers the possibility to select an off delay. This off delay applies for Q1 and Q2. It cannot be displayed in SOPAS or on the sensor's LEDs, so you won't see any difference when selecting an off delay, but on the switching output it is active. The key lock allows to protect the fork's touch buttons by locking and unlocking them. The factory reset sets the values back to switching output with process data Q1 and Q2 as well as no off delay. We will now go to the settings of Q1 and Q2. This tab allows to invert the switching output, so selecting dark or light switching. Additionally, the relative threshold level can be adjusted manually. It is the same that you can do by clicking plus and minus on the device. When entering a value, the threshold level in the graph is changed accordingly. Please note that the value that is adjusted is the relative threshold level, referring to the set values between received light with and without object. This is different to the display signal value in percentage which you see at the left. The Teach In tab allows to perform the teach in of the thresholds for Q1 and Q2. Q1 additionally shows the quality of teach in. There are three ways of how to do the teach in. Either dynamic, one point or two point teach. When clicking on dynamic teach, the process starts and at least three labels shall be moved through the fork light spot. When using the one point teach, no movement of the material is necessary. The light spot stays either on the label or on the carrier material. Two point teach requires a teach on the label and on the carrier material.
The tab Job Assurance allows to save current settings and to load them again on the device. These jobs can be exported and imported as well. Clicking on saving the job allows to give a certain name to the job and store it. It stores the values for the two thresholds, the switching characteristics and the quality of teach. Exporting the job saves the file as a WFS file and can be imported by SOPAS running on any other computer. Any WFS file that has been saved before can be imported by clicking on import and selecting the file. You see that several jobs can be saved under one file name. To load the job in the sensor, click on load job. These are the main features of the WFS SOPAS interface. I hope you liked the tutorial and hope to hear you soon. Bye.